Hi, welcome to the Toddcast for January 28th, 2012. Um, I'm down here at work again today uh, at uh, Gallagher's Flea Market. Um, but I'm not going to I'm not going to Toddcast about that. Although um, there's more stuff here that I could show you and I could certainly do a Toddcast about that at some time. Um, what I'm here today what I want to talk about today is something that I'm, I've been trying to write for, for Ball In. So yeah, today's Toddcast is going to be um, un, under the broader topic of Ball In. <clears throat> and I just wanted to talk about uh, the, the high school basketball team. Excuse me. Well, yeah, the team, but also the game last night. Um, those of you who have, who have been reading Ball In, and you are reading Ball In, right? Um, know that uh, m my latest and probably most productive uh, chapter or, or, or series in Ball In um, has been called The Home Team, where I write about following um, the, the girls and boys high school basketball teams while I'm stuck out here in my little town in Iowa. And, you know, that is vying for probably the best thing uh, that, that has happened to me out here, um, the most enjoyable thing I've done. I, I've had a lot of fun playing um, at the local wellness center and it's been good to work out. I'm even swimming again um, and uh, you know uh, it is nice also although <laughs> sometimes it doesn't seem so because of the close quarters but it's, it's also nice to be with my mom when, um, when she's not feeling well although you know well, that's a whole other thing. That's a family thing that I, I probably shouldn't have mentioned. Anyhow, um, outside of the family, the best thing I think may have been following the local team. And as you also read in Ball In, um, there's a kid on the team who uh, has a bit of a reputation in town, or got a bit of a reputation in town, which is easy to do here, but also <clears throat> given the rubrics of how easy it is and how everybody should understand that, um, you can see that some of the things he's done, some of the things he acknowledged he did, um, would uh, you know make that reputation justified, as if that's even possible. Um, wh whatever. What I what 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 drew me to him was how much he reminded me of myself, and continues to remind me of myself. In fact, um, he's sort of a gym rat out at the wellness center, and. Um, so, you know, I, I, I've played with him frequently. The last time I was here and this time. And the last time I was here, the first time I ever laid eyes on this kid or I exchanged words with this kid, he sort of unsolicited <laughs> said a smart aleck thing to me. Um, which, you know, sort of, I was taken aback by that, but I also got a big kick out of it because, first of all, that's kind of in the teenage contract to be smart Alex. But also, it r instantly reminded me of something I would have said to some old duffer like me out there. Um, it was pretty funny. So I, I immediately sort of took a shine to this kid, and um, I kind of got the sense that 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 he had a reputation in the town, not a good one. Um, but then I was away for ten months, and and when I got back, um, saw him again <clears throat> out at the wellness center, and he was about twice the size as the last time I saw him, um, you know, up and out. You know, he's, he's a large young person now, at least 6'4", you know, and, and pretty much all muscle. Um, and, but it's interesting, he, the, the very first thing he said to me this time was, was a welcoming thing. Like, he was happy to see me back. Um, which, you know, I was kind of glad for him <laughs> again because, you know, he's really large. Um, and I, you know, I didn't want him to go like this and, and make me suddenly smaller. Um, but um, yeah, and so I started playing with him and got to know him a little bit better. And you know, uh, he told me a little bit about the travails that he'd been through. Um, he was ineligible for part of the season last year. He was going to be ineligible for part of the season this year. And um, you know, that was one thing. I didn't, I didn't know what that was all about. But I thought, well, you know. Um, I could unofficially like coach him. Um, he's gotten a lot bigger. Maybe I could, and I'm actually have some pretty decent low post skills. Um, pound for pound, there are a few players on earth who are better in the post than me, and I can produce all kinds of witnesses 
to testify to that. Um, so I thought maybe I could help you know, help him work out. It might be good to, to have a connection to an older guy who who who's been around. You know, as I recall, like as I said, he he reminds me of myself. And um, when I was his age, uh, I really might not have gotten out of this town had it not been for <clears throat> some uh, of uh, of the older guys in town uh, assuming the same role with me. The, these were were coaches at the school um, who, who you know, <laughs> saw that there was something about me, um, good and bad, and they, they did what they could um, to bring out the good in me. And I, I, I very much appreciated that, so I thought maybe I could do the same with this kid, who understandably is not understood in, in the town. Um, but again, since I've been out of the town, um, I had actually worked in, in, you know, in a counseling role with, with, with young folks with behavior issues and um, young folks who could need some help changing their behavior, you know, I, I thought I'd do what I could. And um, so uh, I sort of tried to get unofficial word to his coach, who I know from playing with him back in the day. Um, and then I saw his coach uh, at a store and he says, uh, he came up to me and says, so you're going to tutor this kid? Which, which really sort of took me aback. I had no idea that um, academics were an issue because he struck me as a really bright kid, and he is. Um, uh, I was about to volunteer. You know, I know some, I know some big man drills that, that I can run through with him and I can pass him in, to him and yada, yada, yada. But, um, you know, Spike, knowing that I had done pretty well in school, um, that's, the, that's the name of the coach, or the, the nickname of the coach, um, uh, asked me if I was going to do that and so I said sure you know and I asked around I asked a friend of mine growing up who's now a teacher here you know about tutoring tips I got a hold of his counselor um, at, at his school um, and um, who you know of course I said I don't have a consent form I can't uh, you know don't tell me anything that you're not supposed to but you know I'm, this is my number this is my background you can look it up you can ask people and you know, if I if I want to help out, or I want to help out if I can, and um, she was totally cool, and she's a totally cool person. In fact, she's at an alternative school, um, which is a whole other story that that maybe I'll get into, um, where this kid was placed once he had um, behavior issues at 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 the regular school. Well, it turns out he has perfect attendance. Um, he's on track to graduate. When it looked like you know, had he stayed in the normal school that wouldn't have happened. Um, and, you know, he's an avid reader and everything about, you know, his academic skills that, that, that can be brought out and developed were, were being done in this alternative set, uh, excuse me, not an alternative setting. And, um, you know, makes perfect sense to me given my work before and knowing what, what the education system like is like, how it doesn't serve everybody especially kids like this. So, you know, that was my, that was my in with the team, and uh, the boys team. But then I started watching the girls team as well, and, you know, they, they have some compelling stories too, but that's, that's not today's story. Um, and in fact, this uh, podcast is getting long enough that I think I'm going to have to make it a, a two-parter. Um, but that's, that's sort of the preamble, uh, as Tony Soprano might say, to, uh, to today's topic. Um, so uh, I'm going to stop this podcast and, and, and do another one. Um, so until that one, take care.